What are you doing here? Huh. Guess I better take a look. Bandits all along. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. All I can offer you is devotion, but I need your help. I'm poor. I have four hungry children and nothing else. I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. How can I repair it? Or sell my wares without it? Without you? I'm listening, child of Hermes. Oh, mighty God, I beg you, help me. Your prayer is heard. You will find riches at your door sooner than you expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes. Now, go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great God, I will. Well, if money is what she needs, the bandit's stolen loot will do just fine.
No gods in the caves, only bandits stealing people's hopes and drachmi. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry, I brought mine. That should be good enough. Just like she said, the cart looks pretty worse for wear. Looks like these new baskets were off to market, until the cart broke. This should help. Better them than the bandits. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? He doesn't. He just gets me into situations I have to dig myself out of. Maybe you shouldn't let him do that. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, <sighs> All right. I'll look into it.
them away. You're murderers! Murderers! If the gods won't help you, the sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. Many nights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. But I don't know anything about the plague. There is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination! Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. Let them go. What? You're no god. You're going oh! down! Ah! 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 Losing them! Priest came from the underworld, some man of the gods. Uh, the real god sent you. Time to go. We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Forget about that. Just travel safely. Your gift from the gods, Eagle Bearer. I hope they bless you. Kina, be safe!
Mistios, fresh vegetables for your journey. The juiciest in Kefalonia. I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of Kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa. You think he could help us? I think he could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? Have you seen their teeth? <sighs> Believe us, we have. And we won't go near them again. A shark is guarding our one guaranteed way out of Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. We get it, sell it, and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore, near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the Sark. Vegetable drachme is all right, but necklace drachme is best. I know what it's like to want to leave Kefalonia. Who wouldn't? We have nothing here. As many vegetables as we please, but no hope. It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, we'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. All right, I'll kill your shark. You'll skewer him. You'll find him deep in the ruins of Grani down south. Buried treasure usually has a story. <laughs> The necklace was said to belong to Procris. You know, the wife of Kefalus. On the eve of their wedding, he gave it to her as a promise of fidelity. Well, we know how that turned out. <laughs> Typical. At least he returned to Procris in time for her death. Where on the island are these ruins? You know the sunken islet of Zeus? Find that, and you'll find the ruins. To the shark's temple I go. I'll never look at another vegetable again after this. The necklace is down there.
You found it! That's the necklace! That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally leave! No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know what that's like. Good luck. Ah! <laughs> 
con Steam. They'll be watching.
Not an animal. We're not all so bad. that. Hmm. Everything's quiet. This used to be a nice village, but now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime.
Hate to break it to you, but your brother was killed. Killed? Get out of my sight before I hire those bandits to slit your throat! I'd like to see you try.
Ella. And not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you. 
my friend. <laughs> All right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There, you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it'll be hidden. Hello, I. I see you. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view.
over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
By Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around. Be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh, I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. 